Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is a legendary Iron Man run and we're playing Beta 1 of this mod. We are yet again going for a smash and grab mission. We just uh, finished another mission where we got some intel. This here is simply a material, uh, uh, an extra mission, mission to get some supplies and materials. So nothing to be concerned about. Should be a quick and easy run today, guys. Uh, we have Sean Shonigans, uh, Sun Assault leading this together with uh, Tracy Sane Elliot, the Shinobi, got a gunner, a technician for recovery, removal, and a specialist. So we should be fine, in my opinion. We are fighting against seven to nine enemies, and we're trying to get at least four crates. That's our baseline, and we can do better than that. And it is time to kick some alien rear. Landed in the middle of a city. This looks an awful lot like something where the lost can be. Okay, this looks an awful lot like a lost map. And since no timer has started, there's also no reason to use any of the abilities that make us uh, go faster. Okay. We're simply going to double move, carefully entering the building, and that's about it. For some reason, we were landing on top of uh, this old train station. And I really like how the map, how the new tiles are being uh, uh, being put together. I think that's one of uh, the most beautiful features of War of the Chosen, that they added the new uh, kind of inner city street tiles. Really, really well done. I personally like fighting on the train. It's a couple of interesting tactical um, tactical moments. So we can see that there is um, that there are two different balconies and I would say we're trying to go for the one that is closer to the chest. Just a hinge. I know the map design of most of the maps quite well and it's my experience if you are going onto this balcony there's probably going to be a pack so um, or if you, for that regard if you're going onto any balcony there is most likely going to be a pack so the idea is really as soon as you step outside of the building and put yourself at risk of being spotted out you might as well want to do that right next to one of the crates. Rolling out. Another op uh, another important info that you might be interested in is uh, per default there is no never a pack um, in one of uh, these rooms up here. So it's always empty. You can just use them for transit uh, for transition. And it's great if you have like these longer combined houses. There's a door over here, there's a doorway over here. Essentially, this gives you so much uh, vision uh, blockage. So you can Understood. play around that barrier super, super well. Always careful with opening the doors. You don't want them to kick them in because that will break concealment. And likewise, careful not to move too close to the windows because you don't want to be spotted out. Got it. Moving. I need to ask twice. Copy that. Hustle. 
Good. We already know there is a pack downstairs here. Not very surprising. Good. We haven't we haven't uh, spotted out anyone yet. Got a group of hostiles over here. We could use one of those. So if we were to control uh, this thing. Oh, that's a seventy six percent chance. We're definitely trying to do that. I think if I remember reading correctly, if you control something in uh, concealment, you still continue being concealed and they don't know that you have taken it over. Nice, so we know there is a pack down here. Good. Moving further down so that we can mark the crate. Love it. Pretty sure that I'm hearing the loss somewhere. All right, Overwatch, we got a few crates here. So far, they have absolutely no clue that we're coming. Okay, they would have a clue as soon as uh, the drone <laughs> would reach their position. So that would spot them out. Okay, understood. Makes sense. We could go for an explosion. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Moving into full cover. Let's start with hitting this guy. So good. Kill it right away. He doesn't know what the F is going on. We are going to fortify and run and gun, even if that triggers the other drone. I still a flanking shot. Unfortunately, just a grazing shot for him.
You know, if we were to move to here, and if we were then to take another action, that'll probably kill him. Good. So command to end our turn and just shift it over. And this here should deal with him. Super good. Both targets neutralized. Let's move over here. Mark it next turn and move on. Oh, before I forget about it. We're going to use the drone to scout. We haven't seen any loss yet, which is interesting. Ah, there we go. I was like, hmm? Such a map, and no loss. What is wrong? We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Target eliminated. Nice little high ground position over here. Totally like it. All right, marking the supplies. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Let us scout ahead. And we might even want to use the drone, to be honest. Okay, so that hasn't triggered any enemy response. Which means this here is going to be fine. Marking the supplies and let's move up here. I want to get the loot, so we're moving over here. Gotta be greedy here. And let's also Bring in the evac. put an evic down. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. It's the last turn that we're going to have uh, the drone, so might as well make use out of it. It's taking a couple of shots, which is perfect. Ah, and the Lost Swarm. Luckily, they spawn so far behind. We're good. And can you believe it? For the first time, it's not lagging. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Okay. 
Good, we got ourselves uh, three crates. Fair enough. So this very much could be... Starter. I don't want to stand, uh, stay in the open here. Let's try to stun uh, the Viper here. Good. Two rounds. Uh, that's a great start. I don't want to stand in the open. So we're standing right here, although I know that that is going to weaken the accuracy of the rocket. Having taken a movement means the rocket is like going somewhere. Yeah, generally fine. I was hoping that we would be able to explode the car. All right, moving into full cover over here. Should we use Oscar Mike to take a better position? We could go to here and kill one of the Vipers. That wouldn't be bad at all. So let's use Oscar Mike. Essentially moving over to here. We're prone for AOE attacks such as the poison attack, but I think everyone has a hazmat vest by now. That won't do it. Good, moving to here. Another flanking position. <laughs> wow, we're even grazing them when we're not supposed to graze them. Good, that's a double movement. That's a spit, and we were immune, just like I predicted. These two here are a problem.
Yeah, we do have solid full cover, but it's essentially full cover versus full cover, which is never a really good uh, place to be in. You always want to flank. And the one obvious way of doing this is taking the high ground here. I wanted to try to take no damage or close to zero damage. Basically just to, to use um, the soldiers in the next mission. This here should be a really easy just uh, kill the enemies and get out of here sort of mission. Maybe getting a bit of extra experience, and then that's about it. Reload. Gremlin here for glitch. I want to make sure that he's not getting hit. And let's kill the Sidewinder. Still pretty far away. I would like to get on the loot over there. We got an outloader. So what we can do is essentially move a bit further forward. And start cleaning up. Baja here has pretty decent aim. And we gotta take our chances. If we can clean up most of them, we can get another. Uh, we can get another crate. And it's not like we're taking uh, 60 or 50 50 shots. These here are all 96, 97% shots. Enemy down. Fun thing uh, though, if you are into numbers, um, if you continue to try um, hitting 96, 97% shots, it is not that unlikely uh, until the very first uh, shot will miss. So. In other words, it's very likely that you're overestimating how many shots uh, you could take before the first one misses. We're going to be greedy. Moving up. Good, we still got some more shots which we could take. Moving over here. Yeah, we gotta deal with a drone. Uh, that's why it's, 
it's going to bite us in the rear. Moving up here, so we're out of line of sight. Good, we're going to overwatch, that will at least kill the first of uh, the loss. I was about to say, are they dropping reinforcements on top of the roof? That would have been weird. That was a clever trick. I was actually positioning him here so that there would be a line of sight blockade. But it didn't work out. Should have just pulled him back. Oh, that might be a KO. Luckily, just a grazing shot. Yeah, not a smart move. I thought we would be safe, but we weren't. I, and, and there was no need to do that move. Good. Kremlin heal. Give him a heal. To get Lich back up. Can easily kill him. Moving over here into a flanking position, reload, and let's see if we can kill the captain. Ready to engage. Looks like something over here. Very nice. Good Very nice. Okay, yeah, I'm being a tiny bit greedy by moving up to here. Fan stock is good. Good start. This here is dealing with a sidewinder. Well, I like the idea of just burning him. Gotta get into full cover. I don't want to be shot in the open again.
Yeah, we're dealing with it just as we would deal with any other enemy. Stay in full cover, everyone. Move up. And that's a 50% uh, chance, so we're overwatching. And let's give Glitch here an A protocol. Disorientation. <laughs> I hope the loss is going to attack him. Yeah, that serves you right, buddy. So, moving in, and this time we're going to deal with both of them. Uh, wrong order. Normally, if you if you click, if you hit the um, if you hit uh, the attack button, first thing that is going to show up is uh, the lost. Good. So, if we... Where to Revival Protocol Sane here? He should have enough mobility to get to one of the chests. Which means we get another supply. And Barrier here. Could mark yet another chest. Which means we get another supply. Great. Alright, I'm going to be like super greedy here. Which may or may not be a good idea. We're going to see about that. Disorientation removed. I'm pretty sure that there is no one here. Because we have already scouted out the area. Should have uh, used our fortify in, uh, beforehand. Oh well, that was well worth it. On Overwatch. Good, I think now we can make our way out of here. One should always stop when it's when one is at the peak. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Yeah. I think we're we're going to be fine. We got ourselves uh, six instead of four chests. Incredible amounts of loot. We took some damage, that's true. Could have played that a bit better. But overall the loot in itself is already worth uh, more than a hundred uh, supplies. So that was very successful. Copy. 
easily kills around 20 enemies so that's a good chunk of experience as well And we're ending the turn. Next turn everyone's going to move out and that'll be it. Yeah, we probably could have taken the other two chests. But it's fine, it's not the end of the world. It's not like two chests make a huge difference. What makes a huge difference is playing it well. Because here's the deal. If you think about getting two more chests and that the 10-15 supplies make a difference, uh -uh. what really makes a difference is getting, in specifically in those easy missions, flawless. So I'm more annoyed about me sort of fucking up the flawless mission instead of in, uh, instead of not getting like eight or ten chests, we probably could have done that. Um, the reason why it's better to have flawless missions is because then the next time that a mission pops up, I don't need to send tired or half uh, injured soldiers into battle, and that essentially gives you overall way more uh, experience and loot. Perfect. And we even got a promotion out of it. Baya here gets chain shot. She definitely deserves it. Low profile. Half cover counts as full. Why wouldn't you want to take that? That is awesome. I like untouchable. I like serial. So we're saving the points for the last ones. And unfortunately, 13 days for gravely wounded uh, soldier. 50 supplies and quite a few loot items. Look at that, all of this here is loot. So loot essentially made up for, definitely for more than half of uh, the value. Good. Back to the drawing board. We wanted to have another resistance contact and then we're continuing our um, contact to South America. Avenger plotting new course. So far everything works out super well. By the way, we're uh, in June. That means uh, actually yeah, month number four. Uh, there is a huge there is a huge difficulty spike around September and October. And what? Okay, cool. Yeah, alloy padding completed. Great. Let's continue making contact. We now officially have five. Setting course for Brazil. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just see an attack? Oh, that's the supply rate which we deliberately have chosen to ignore. Okay, fair enough. Just out of curiosity, I mean, we still could do the supply rate. Do we have the soldiers is the question. Uh, probably not. I mean, yes, we would have a few being essentially ready in six hours. But yeah. Fury here is only ready in five days, uh, so probably not. Although, on the other hand, we might be able to use the B squad.
and just go in with eight soldiers. Hmm. You know what? It doesn't hurt if we're starting the whole infiltration. Still got two days. Might as well start it, and if it doesn't work, we can always cancel it. Let me come up with a team. Good. After a bit of equipping, I think we've got a pretty strong team here. We got our skirmisher. We got Dark Tower leading it uh, together with a diva. So cover removal, uh, just pure DPS, pure DPS. We got two of our assaults, Ghost and uh, Sean Seanigans uh, with us. Both of them are further DPS. We got Baya from the last mission who uh, was hitting everything. So she's going to support us. Uh, we got Bob Ross as a pure support and a scout. So we got everything from ranged um, cover destruction, flanking, uh, straight up, uh, straight up DPS, normal soldiers, as well as the grappling hook. That should be fine. We are, however, also facing probably around 40 enemies if we were uh, to do this. Again, there is no penalty for for doing this. We we simply could evac and nothing is going to happen. Also, there is no penalty for just aborting the infiltration if I don't feel like it. But I think if we could get another 30-ish corpses, that'll make it a lot easier. And we're at that point where we have enough equipment to start snowballing the game into our direction. So far, after a bit of a ro rocky start, we are really having some pretty solid missions. Uh, speaking about which, we got an Extract the VIP mission up here uh, for Ranger. And you know, that also marks the end of our uh, run for today. Next time we're going to do Operation Starving Peak. Um, that is going to include uh, our uh, squad expansion. We're getting a Ranger. That's the only way that I've found so far within this mod to gain additional recruits. I was checking the, um, the uh, black site uh, or black market quite regularly, but neither the normal recruits nor uh, the black market yield any results. So that's, for us, that's um, a chance to essentially gain an additional soldier and basically increase our roster a bit further. Not that it is a small roster, but I still am feeling that we're getting to the, uh, to the very limits of the roster and we're not even removing the fear. So far, everyone nowadays has a fear. We got a shit ton of training that needs to be done and I feel we are really behind on the training. We aren't putting many um, of our soldiers as uh, Haven advisors, which could also be an advantage in some cases. Uh, we haven't really leveraged the bonds a lot, uh, so that's a problem as well. So long story short, I still think we could use more, um, uh, more soldiers just since we're so intensively grinding the missions. But yeah, if you know a way of how to get more soldiers, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below telling me about it. Um, I haven't found anything in the forum or on the internet so far, but maybe I'm missing something. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.